Email Selected Records. This tutorial applies to PHP Runner, ASP Runner .net and ASP Runner Pro. I have received many questions regarding sending selected records in an email. Here I have a small project with two tables, city and users. City is the only table visible and users is what I'm using for users to sign on. And this is what we have so far. Please note that we don't have any tick boxes available in front of the records so we can make any selections. So let me show you how we would continue from here on. Back at the project, I select the city table and go to the pages screen. Here you want to select inline edit. Now I know that many of you will think, but I don't want my users to inline edit any of the records and that is fine. But we need to select this option over here in order for us to have a tick box in front of the record later on. On the next page, make sure that inline edit is all unticked for each and every field and then they will still, they won't be able to edit any of the records. Okay, from here we can go straight to the designer page and here we notice the inline edit control which is basically not needed at this point in time. So what I'm going to do is you can select it and just delete it from this page but a better way is probably to select it and click on the question mark and copy the code that will hide the element. Control C on my keyboard and from here I'm going to go to the events page, list space before process, this is probably a good place to put it and the element is now hidden. Okay, back to the designer page. We want to add a button not in the grid but just above the grid, maybe next, next to this cancel button over here. So I select the cell, insert, custom button, new button and I will call the button email selected. Now you can customize the button any way you like. I'm just going to continue to the events page and find the button I just created. Here it is. On the client before event of this page, I'm not going to do anything right now. On the server event, we are going to do some coding. There is a very handy function, this get next selected record, that we will be using shortly. So I'm going to copy this so long, so we have it here close by. But before I do that, let's just create two variables. Okay, so email message, email msg, is what I will use to construct the body of the email that's going to go out. For now, i just going to start something in here, maybe say list of records. Okay, and we're going to end this line with backslash r and backslash n. This just saying it is the end of the row and I want a new line. Okay, so let's continue with this get next selected record over here. Get next selected record is a method of the button object. So we will have to say here dollar button and then the object operator. Now this entire thing will output all selected records in an array so we will have to store that and I will call it dollar data. Since this is an array we will have to loop through the data until we reach the end so we will use the while loop over here and we're going to loop our records in between over here. Now since we are getting a selection of records on the city table, only the fields of the city table will be available obviously. So you, 
like I've explained in many of my tutorials, if you go to the after table initialized event of any table, you open the description, you will find all the fields that's available for you right now. I just copy all of them and go back to my server event of the button and I'm just going to paste them here so I have them close by. Dollar data is an array. So the way that we are going to extract information from the, from the array is pretty straightforward. We'll just construct and the first field we can see is ID. But since this is the body of the email, we need to explain to the user reading this what he is looking at. So let's just create a string in front of it. Something like that. And then we are going to add another string after the array extraction and which will also then create end of row new line for us now this needs to be stored somewhere and i'm going to store it into the email message but i don't want to override what's currently in here i want to append to it so i'm going to say email message dot equal dot equal will add to whatever is already in that variable instead of overriding it I'm not going to go ahead and do the rest. Okay, now for the email message, just to make sure that we do have some nice spacing, I'm going to add another one here at the end and just add that will just add an extra space okay now for my counter is currently set at zero and i want my counter with every loop to increase by one so for that i'm just going to put make sure that the counter is act actually in the while loop and i'm going to say plus plus and close that will add one to this variable over here with every loop Okay, so far so good. So when the counter is zero, we can assume that the user did not select any records. So we are going to do a small test to make sure they have selected any records. We are going to say if. What are we going to do? When the record count is greater than zero, we are simply going to send the email. To do that, we are going to need some more information. We are going to need an email account. So I will create a variable for that. Note that I have hard coded an email account over here and this will work pro perfectly fine provided that this is a valid email account. And um, if you are going to send the email every time to the exact same email address, then you can do it this way. But most of us is probably not going to use this method. I will change this in a moment. Next, we are going to need a subject. Send selected records demo. Okay. Now we are going to use the runner mail function runner mail needs an array and we are going to populate the array the first uh, will be two and this time we use the assigning operator means we are setting a value and that will be this email i just created a few seconds ago Next will be the subject. And then we will have to create one more. This is the minimum requirement and that is then the body. And like uh, I explained earlier on, this loop over here will construct the email body. And whatever is now at this point in time 
in this email message variable will be the body of the email and I'm gonna add it over there another thing we can do right here uh, after the email is sent we can uh, do a result parameter which will go to through to the client after event I will call it a result as well you can call it anything and here my message will be something like the amount of records dot I'm going to create a string and then maybe the email address which will be this over here If the records was not greater than zero, in other words, the rec count was equal to zero, we are going to set a s the result, the exact same result to something else. It basically means that the user did not select any records. Okay now this is all good and well i will get to the client after event just now uh, i just want to quickly change this email account we this this is not what most of us are going to need uh, what i'm going to do in this example is i'm going to set the email account to whatever it is for the current signed on user to get to the email we are going to use the security API to do this is security current user data you don't have to worry how this works or whatever it's doing just know that it will extract each and every field for the user current signed on user and that will be stored in an array as well so I'm just going to call this dollar user data and we have the entire user record to get to the email field only the field name so this email will now go to the current user the current signed on user now before I go any further when you are going to send any emails anywhere from within PHP runner you'll have to go and to the miscellaneous page click on email settings and you will have to set everything here the program the software cannot send any email without this the SMTP server the port username and password is extremely important you can use Google Mail Outlook and other things but this is my preferred method okay back at the code We must do something with this result. The result is going to go through to the client after event. And here we will do something with it. I will set a variable. This is JavaScript. Variable. RES, which is just result. Um, equals. Um, you can do it like that. Since this is Java, I like to use single quote instead of double quotes I don't think it really matters all right and then this res is now the variable and I'm just gonna pop up a sweet alert I think the new syntax is fire.swal but this will work and we're gonna just inform the user of whatever it is that's in this result it can be one of two messages there or there and that is it let's see how it works okay let's see how it goes Go to the, you will note that we have tick boxes now let's first try and click the button without any selection and please select at least one record exactly as expected okay let's do a few record selections three emailed to that address and here I have opened the email I just received and all three of those records is exactly 
in my email as expected. Okay, now another question was to basically supply the email address. Now to do that, I'm going to go back to the events page and go to the client before event and the way I can think of is to use Dialog API. Now I will leave a link in the description also in the corner up here where, uh, where you can go and have a look at the Dialog API tutorial. For now I'm just going to code this quickly. Okay, so just quickly the Dialog, I return on the Dialog which will return false. Always when you use the Dialog, always return false. I have a title, a header, the bottom. You can make this whatever you want to. There's only one field. Um, it, uh, the name of the field is email, the label is email with a capital E, and the type of field is text. I do want this field to be required, so I set this to true. And then I, the OK button, I just select, uh, I just name it email selected, or we probably rename it to now, or whatever you like, and then a cancel button. Now what will go through to the server event is this email via the palms array so on the server event we are going to receive the email so for now i'm going to uncomment or comment this out i'm going to say dollar email is now equals to dollar palms and whatever is in this array will be the value the user supplies email because email is what I called it in the previous event in the client before event right here now let's see how this goes Okay, let's select 8, 11, 13, and 14. Email selected, it now asks for an email. You can now literally put any valid email account in here. Okay, email now. And four emails sent to that account. That is more or less what I have for you on in this tutorial. What I am going to do is um, I, there will be an extended for of this tutorial that you will be able to find on uh, my Patreon account. What we will do there, we will go to the events and maybe put this email message in a proper uh, HTML table. We can also add this to a PDF document. What if you want to select everybody in the uh, user table to receive this email and many other more things that the patrons may ask. So thank you very much for watching. Till next time.